Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're doing good today. It's been a minute since I made a video last. Quite a long time actually. But, uh, work's been busy this summer and had to deal with that first. But, now that things have slowed down a bit, I thought I'd start making some videos again. So this is going to be a quick little video. I'm going to show you a little tip how to sharpen your video footage in DaVinci Resolve. So if you've started shooting video and you've started using log footage, which is sort of desaturated footage, which gives you better dynamic range, you might have noticed that your footage isn't as sharp as when you shot regular footage with your camera, like the standard profile. That's because the standard profile had sharpening added to it. So one of the things I do with my video footage now is to add sharpening to it so it looks better. So when you're in DaVinci Resolve, there's no sharpening feature per se. It doesn't say sharpening. <clears throat> it's it's kind of a funny place. It's actually you actually de-blur the footage. It's kind of confusing and it took me a little bit to figure it out. So I'll just show you on a couple of clips that I shot recently how to do that and hopefully it'll help you with that. So let's jump over into DaVinci and I'll show you that. Alright so we're here in Resolve and I've got a couple of clips from a real estate video I did the other day and I'll just go through them and show you where how you find the sharpen feature on Resolve. So we got this first clip here. Let me clear the clips thing so it's bigger and blow it up a bit. So if you press Shift F here and you sort of blow it up a bit, it doesn't look too bad. It's only shot with it's shot with a Canon lens, so it doesn't look too bad. I've already applied some grading to it. So if I go back here, I'm just going to zoom out a bit. So over here, I'm just going to add another node. Go like this, option S. And then down here on the bottom, you're going to see these icons here. You're going to click this one, this little drop and triangle icon. I don't know what that means. Oh, if you hover over it means blur. So this is where you're going to do the sharpening. So you've got these other things, but this is right here, this radius section. This is where you're going to do the sharpening. And it's very easy to do. All you're going to do is click and drag down until the numbers go down. And that, I guess it de-blurs it. I don't know what that means, but that's how you sharpen things. So I've got it on this node here, right? So let's blow up the image again. There we go. And now you can see it's actually a lot sharper. So if I undo the node, you're going to see that it's not that sharp. But if I hit the node again, you can see it's really sharpened it. Now I don't know about this that much for this clip. I might just go back here and do about 46. I do about 0 0.46, 0 0.45 on most of my stuff. And if you know how to group clips together, it's really, really easy just to apply sharpening to all your clips across the whole project like that. So with that, if I just undo the node and show, it sharpens it and it looks a lot better. So I'll just show you in the next one here. Let's clear this one. Move over to the next clip and it's still of that little uh, studio barn that I shot here. So I'm just going to add another node here and I'm going to add the sharpening here as well. 0.46. So if we blow it up a little bit and I go no, it just adds a nice amount of sharpening. Now for this one I could even, you know, I could probably even just bump it up a little bit. Have a look again and then go between the no This is on and this is off. 
and you, you see that it's added a nice amount of sharpening, not too much. I don't like over sharpening for stuff, but it really helps a lot. So, you know, that's it. All right, so hopefully you found that video helpful. That's how you sharpen footage in DaVinci Resolve. Pretty easy once you know where to look. And that was a problem I had when I first started out. So if you like this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Woo!